Senator Banks, thanks for joining us on this. We appreciate it. I, I cannot stand to see the faces of those young people who lost their lives so tragically um, yet again in this country at another mass shooting, which is happening, it seems, on a daily basis. Um, it's not personal to me necessarily. I know it's personal to you, though. Um, you have a daughter at Michigan State um, University. How are you dealing in the aftermath of this? How's she doing? She's doing really well, um, all things considered. It was a really, really rough night on Monday night, just having that sense of dread um, for hours at a time. Uh, the whole incident lasting so long, uh, not really knowing where the gunman was. So everybody was feeling pretty vulnerable. I can only imagine, especially when you are a parent of a student um, on that campus. So I think the question now is, especially when you are a lawmaker, what are you going to do about it? Right. What can be done inside this legislature in Michigan right now? You've got a Democratic governor, a Democratic legislature um, as well. And we've seen consistent support from the public going back to last year. A statewide poll I want to put this up there um, from November showing two thirds of Michiganders saying they approve of stricter gun laws. Two thirds. Um, that's also pretty consistent for, with what we're seeing across the country on a national level. Um, will this time be any different? Yes, it absolutely will. This is the first time in 40 years that we've controlled both houses of the legislature. And uh, as Senate Majority Leader, I get to set the agenda of what gets a vote in the uh, state Senate, and this will most certainly get a vote. Uh, we introduced bills on Thursday, and um, uh, there's a, a set of 10 bills that would establish uh, universal background checks. We would uh, is, is, uh, implement extreme risk protection orders, uh, and um, uh, there's a multitude of other policies that we could pursue in the future, but we are going to start there. They are both incredibly well supported among our constituents, uh, and the urgency of this situation has really created an environment where uh, we think we can get those done uh, immediately. Uh, we're hoping for bipartisan support, but if we don't get it at this point in our history, we don't need it, and we will get it done. So, so talk to you about that um, when it comes to bipartisan support. I know there's always this hope of getting things like this passed um, in a bipartisan manner. So you can come forward and say both Republican and Democratic legislatures support this. Have you been speaking to folks on the other side of the aisle to try and get this done as you talk about the timing of it and having it be quick? What does that look like? And what does it mean if, in fact, you get this 10 bill package passed when they'll actually be instituted? So we've been talking to Republicans about uh, supporting uh, common sense, re you know, changes to the law regarding uh, imp impacting gun violence for 10 years, the entire time that I've been in the legislature. Uh, so this is not a new topic, and they know where we're going with this. Uh, we asked for co-sponsors on those bills just on Thursday. We did not get any, uh, but we will uh, continue forward having hearings next week, and we'll move through the process to get those uh, uh, into the agenda to vote on, and they will have an opportunity opportunity to show their support. We know that they are hearing from constituents in their districts uh, that are very interested in seeing them support this. So um, maybe some will come around. But if they don't, again, we will move the bills and we'll be able to get them to the governor's desk. If, if you're looking at these 10 bills from universal background checks um, to gun storage safety, which of these 10 bills, if you had to point to, are the most <laughs> important to get across the finish line? So those those three topics are, are you know impacted by all of those bills, and I think that they're all equally important in some ways. We believe that uh, the safe storage uh, policy, for example, could have made a difference in the uh, shooting that occurred at the high school 15 months ago uh, in Oxford, right here in Michigan. Right. Uh, but these these bills are not just about the incident that happened on MSU's campus or about Oxford. They're about all of uh, the ways that gun violence impacts people, and we believe these can make a difference in a very broad way. So we're going to start with those three policies. There's a lot of other things we can do. We'll use the full power of um, all the policies that we can impact, as well as the state budget, to make sure that we can keep our kids safer. Yeah, Michigan State Senator uh, Winnie Brinks, we got to stop seeing those pictures of these young people losing their lives senselessly in these mass shootings. We wish you uh, the best of luck.